Hi, everybody. Hello there. Jerry. And Linda. Oh, and Gizmo. Oh, I forgot him. I never forget him. He forgets him. What? <laughs> We're the village's newcomers. Today, I want to talk to you about an expense that we have here in the villages. Not just here in the villages, but I suspect it's more prevalent in southern communities than mm -hmm. it would be up north where we were. Mm -hmm. And that is that we didn't anticipate having to paint our house every seven years or so. An exterior paint job is not cheap. Mm -hmm. And we've recently noticed that the stock paint, the paint that they regularly put on, mm -hmm. is, was becoming a little faded and a little chalky. Right. And so we started getting some estimates and looking around and uh, we found that while we could probably get another year or two out of our paint job, we decided to go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. It's not a cheap thing. It's uh, about, well, what? Let me start over. How much are you going to say? We ultimately decided to go with a painter. Uh, his name is Danny, and he owns Danny's Deluxe Painting. He, he's a, a great painter. We had him do the inside of our, our home here. Yeah. Uh, and we're totally satisfied with him. And he talked us through whether we did or did not need an exterior paint job. And uh, we ultimately hired him. Like we said, it's not cheap to paint your home. He charges depending on the home. Now, we have a designer home. It's about 2,000 square feet. Your home could be smaller. Your home could be bigger. But somewhere between $1,900 and all the way up to $3,000 or more to uh, paint a designer home. And that would include your paint. So we're going to talk to him and we're going to go through the steps that he took to not only get the house ready, but we're going to watch him paint it. And then we'll see how it goes. And we have Danny right here. And Danny's crew is getting to work. They're going to paint our house today. We're going to bring you little snippets of it throughout and uh, we're really excited to have Danny here. Thanks for coming, Danny. Thank you. Like we told the folks back home, getting your house painted is not a small thing. It's a big thing. It's a big expense. It's an expense we didn't anticipate. We lived 33 years in our last home. Never once had it painted in Indiana. It was brick. Yeah, we didn't have to. It was brick, natural colored brick, and, and the upstairs had vinyl siding, so no paint. We talked to other painters, and we went with you because we think that you gave us honest answers, and you wanted to use quality products, and it was just a good fit for us. But can you tell us why do people in Florida have to have their homes painted so often? Sure. Um Good morning to everyone, good or morning. good afternoon, whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, usually, uh, the house needs to be painted because uh, when the house is, is built, um, they use flat paint, so the rain in, in the sun, uh, it'll fade it. So that's why you need to paint it after seven or eight years, sometimes before that. Now here, I, when you told me what to get, you told me exactly how much paint we needed. And you would have gotten that, but I, I had some free time, so I went and, and talked with the people at Sherwin-Williams. And by the way, we came across Danny because we needed the interior of our home painted in spots. Mm -hmm. Correct. And we, again, had other painters, but decided to go with Danny. And he did a wonderful job. And so that's why we have him back to do the exterior. And so a home like this, this is a designer home. It's block and stucco. People like the block and stucco because we have big storms here. Mm -hmm. And it's a very sturdy home, as opposed to the stick-built homes with vinyl siding. But they don't need painting. What's your thought on that, block and stucco or vinyl siding? Well, um, I think this is the best, yeah. yeah. Well, you never know if it's a tornado or, or extremely high winds. This is mm -hmm. probably going to stand up a little better? Yes, it will, yes, for sure. And, and plus the vinyl never needs painting, right? Well, I mean, you can paint it, but eh. not, not, it's not, you know, not usual. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're here today. You're going to paint. You came uh, yesterday, and we have some footage. We're going to show the folks how you begin to get the home ready. And now the house is clean and ready to paint. What are the steps involved in getting a home like this ready and actually doing the painting? First of all, um, we have to do the pressure wash like we did yesterday. Uh, it can be a day before or two days before if we have a good weather. And um, once the house is already pressure washed, so the first thing in the morning that we have to do is the, um, fix the cracks we got to walk the house and make sure we fix every crack. Let's take a look at some of those cracks. They're not big, and, and I, I looked at them really well, but there are hairline cracks at a few corners of windows. Let's take a look and see what he did to fix those. Okay, so uh, once the cracks are fixed, the next step is the, uh, we go and um, tape all the windows to, um, to do uh, you know, all the coating and uh, we usually um, put caulking around it because that way the water doesn't go inside the house, just in case. That's the best way to seal the, the outside.
one thing that I was really impressed with you about. When you came to Power Wash, I wondered why you did not power wash what I would call the alcove or the entryway to the home. Mm -hmm. And you told me that's because the, the ceiling of that entryway is drywall. Correct, yeah. It's not supposed to be pressurized because of that. Yeah. You want to, don't want to get that so wet? Oh, no, no. Will you guys take off the downspouts to paint behind? Correct, yeah. That's the last thing we do before painting. Yeah, I thought about that last night because I always try whether oh, yeah. whether we have a plumber coming or an electrician or a painter, mm -hmm. we try to get things as ready as we can for mm -hmm. you. But I, I appreciate the fact that you're thinking about all these little things that we don't think about. Okay, we're going to get the house painted. We had to select paints. I went to Sherwin-Williams. They have many different qualities of paint. Mm -hmm. They had a very basic paint like the home was painted with. Then they have one called Resilience, and then they have one called Duration, and then they have a flexible paint that's way up at the top, you know, nearly $100 a gallon. Uh -huh. And so we didn't pick that one. <laughs> but uh, how do people know which paint to pick? The paint that you can use, um, you can use uh, Super Paint, Resilience, or Duration. So um, it depends of um, how the sun hits your house. So if uh, you have uh, palm trees around the house, so you can, you can choose super paint or resilience. And then if you don't have any palm trees around your house, then you use duration, which is the expensiest. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we chose. We didn't cho choose top of the line. We got the next one down. Because I don't want to do this every seven years. No offense. <laughs> no, you don't. Have I mean, uh, by that time, your little girl will probably be in the second grade, and <laughs> I know you'll need the money. But I don't want to do it every seven years. The home is going to be painted today. One coat or two? Two coats. Two for coats. For sure. Yes, sir. Nice. And how long until that dries? Uh, it's about an hour, two hours, okay, very because soon. the weather. Yeah. And it's a lot of wind. our homes all have sprinklers. So those sprinklers are set on a timer. Should we turn that off for a day or two? For a day, at least. Any other tips or hints or comments you want to make to the viewers back home that are thinking about painting their home? Because we've lived here three years almost. Yeah. The home was built for three years before, so we're entering the seventh year of this home, and it's time to repaint. How do you know when it's time? Uh, you can tell because it's already the color of the house It's already uh, faded. So I think when you, when you see that in your house and uh, when you start seeing cracks, I think you have to paint it because um, if you don't paint it, it'll get worse. And then you don't want a uh, leak inside your house. Mm. So if you, if you see something like that, it's better to paint it, I think. A funny thing, you see the home here. This is our color. <laughs> I've, I've been thinking this is green. Yes. It's a minty green. Right. But when we got the paint chip out, which when people build a home here, you will get a little kit. And that kit will have your flooring sample, your paint sample, mm -hmm. uh, your, your, even your faucets and your fixtures in case you ever need to, re to replace them. And so I got the card out, and the name is Avenue Tan. This, and I hold the card up in the house, it is not green at no, all. No, the chips are beige looking. So I'm <laughs> hoping, Danny, that when we put this on today, it's going to look like this. We're going with exactly the same color. Yeah. The same color house, the same color trim, the same color garage door, which you also paint the garage doors. Yeah, we'll do that. Anything else you'd like to say about the job? Because we're going to follow around today and take a little footage here and there and kind of show the people at home what's involved when you do have your house painted. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today and paint your house. I think you're gonna love it. And uh, if you have any problem, you can, you can call me back, you feel free. All right, well, we're gonna follow them around today. We're gonna bring you the footage and hopefully, uh, you know, we're gonna love it when they're done. I think we will, don't I you? know we will. <laughs> we do really like this color. I, I hope that sample though, that sample. <laughs> Let's watch.
Well, as you can see, he was very thorough. His crew did a really nice job. Right. And uh, we are 100% satisfied with Danny's deluxe painting. You know, I love when, when young people like that do a great job and they're responsible and they are respectful. They clean up their mess. When they tell you they're gonna be there, they come. That's true. And uh, we were very happy with Danny and his crew and uh, we would highly recommend him. But the house looks great and now we're set for another seven years. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. The color, what do you think? Did you guys like the color? Let us know in the comments below. And uh, as always, we appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Please press that like and subscribe button. Until next time. See you when you get here.